Tori Kravitz for APTV and today I sat down with Motionless and White to talk about their new highly anticipated music and we get to meet their new bass player Justin Morrow, formerly of Ice Nine Kills. But before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe to APTV for more videos with all of your favorite artists. Now let's get into it. Hey guys, Tori Kravitz for APTV, and I'm here right now with Justin and Ricky from Motionless and White. How's it going, y'all? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic. Yeah. Um, so this is the first show that you guys are playing since the official announcement that you're joining the band full time. So how are you guys feeling about it? Uh, I feel good, I'm excited. I wish it wasn't quite as hot out, but other than that, I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, this is my first full tour with the band, so that's been looking forward to that for a few months, so yeah. Yeah, this is a good start, and you're going to be out with a trio, yeah? Correct. Yes, and I actually, the last tour I did was with a trio as well, so. So you guys are old friends. A little reunion, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Um, so, kind of touching on this a little bit, so before joining Motionless and White, you were a member of Ice Nine Kills for many years, so what was kind of the turning point where you realized that you were ready to take the plunge into Motionless full-time? I was in Ice Nine for almost 10 years, and um, I think I just got to a point where I just felt like I needed to make a change in my life. Uh, I so many great memories and experiences with them, and I still talk to them on a regular basis. I mean, I'm excited for what they're gonna do moving forward, but uh, just felt like I needed a change. And then once I started filling in for them, just the chemistry was there. It felt right, and uh, just kind of rolled with it. And uh, I'm excited for the future. Yeah, well it's good that you're still on good terms with Ice Nine and you guys keep in touch, so that's good. Um, so how did you know that Motionless was a good fit for you, both aesthetically and creatively? What was that? Um, I, I think we just all got along right away, which uh, yeah. is obviously very important to have that personal connection. Um, I mean, I'd be lying if I said it didn't, it wasn't a little weird for me the first few shows because I hadn't ever played with another band in 10 years, but yeah. after the first couple shows it seemed to click well on stage. I feel like I'm a Good fit. I bring something to the band. Um, at least I like to think so. Yeah, you got uh, that creepy vibe on stage. I like it. Vibe, and obviously, <laughs> I uh, the, the last year or so I've started doing the full makeup with Ice Nine, and that it obviously transitions well into this band. So it just felt like a perfect fit, like putting my hand in a glove. Yeah. Oh, that's so poetic. I love it. <laughs> so, when you guys met prior to when you started filling in? Did you guys know each other beforehand? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, I don't remember when we first met. I think the first tour I ever did with them was Beyond the Barricade tour, 2015. Yeah, we've toured with we toured with Ice Nine quite a bit before then. So I think Justin and and their previous drummer was the only two people really that kind of were always hanging around with us. So yeah. um, it just kind of made sense in the transition when we were like, let's let's see if he wants to, to do it and. Here he is. And lo and behold, <laughs> here story, we are. Ice Nine Kills actually got threatened to be thrown off that motionless tour <laughs> by their old tour manager. You were, <laughs> yeah, he threatened oh, yeah. to throw us off the tour like three times. So. Did you do something bad? What no, happened? It was just a weird a mishap with with our with Chad. And Sounds it, like fun. But it all was resolved and everybody was friends. It was just a funny little thing that yeah. happened like the first three days of the tour. And then who knew you'd be here now? I know, right? <laughs> all comes full circle. So I, Ricky, you've been in the band for so many years for in Motionless. So how has the dynamic been different amongst you guys throwing in the addition of Justin now? Uh, <laughs> I want honesty here. I, I feel like like he said it just kind of fit like a glove, you know, he, he came in, he plays the parts perfectly, he's good on stage, he has the, the look, I just feel like it just works, you know, just, yeah. I'm a worker. <laughs> yeah, even, even when the very first time he filled in, it was very much like, wow, this feels really good on stage, like we all kind of were able to move around each other and it just, it just flowed. Yeah. So it wasn't like a huge dramatic change yeah, bringing him in. It just worked. Yeah. Good, good. And also something really exciting that's coming up is, so the end of Graveyard Shift cycle, that's, that's a wrap, and you're getting ready to release some new music. And that was such a pivotal album for you guys because I feel like it kind of launched you into the radio rock world. That was such a big turning point, and the stakes are kind of high going into new music, at least for your fans. So how is the new music going to compare? What's going to be different? How are you going to top it? Well, that might be a better question for him, but... Uh, <laughs> Um, it was it was in interesting for me because I, by the time I came into the band, the record was far pretty far along. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to contribute on one song that uh, that I'm really stoked on. But uh, 
from what I've heard, it it's definitely following in the same vein as Graveyard Shift, but maybe just taking it up another step. Like the choruses are huge, like made for radio. I think it's great. Um, I think it's going to do great things for the band. Yeah. What about you, Ricky? What would you like to add to that? Anything? <laughs> I don't know what else I can add that that would. Uh, he nailed it. <laughs> uh, I feel like, <clears throat> as far as topping the previous one, I feel like the pressure is always on us to, to make sure that we go out of our way to make it bigger and better than the previous one. And I think just growing as a musician and, and trying new things, I feel like having that kind of fresh new material to work with, you're always going to look back on older stuff and think this is so much better than what I've been playing for the last four years. But you will always have those naysayers that listen to your oldest albums, Creatures and everything before that, and, and kind of say that you're selling out because your music is so radio friendly now. Even though for the most part everybody loves the new stuff. But what do you kind of have to say to those people that are so holding on to the past of your heavy roots? Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. No. Oh, I no. mean, I, mean uh, I understand that. Um, I hear that happens to every band, I feel like, but in all honesty, like, yes, it's not, I mean, do you really want a band to make the same record four or five times? And, you know, there's still, every record still has heavy material. Yeah. The new record has heavy material, um, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta change. You gotta, where everybody gets older, they're, the, this is what they want to write changes and if you really like a band you're gonna support it and if you don't like it that's fine but you know I would I would hate it if one of my favorite bands just did the same record four times yeah. like I don't know it's not, but there's always gonna be those people you just can't let it bother you because it's it's always gonna be there no matter what so it just comes with the territory I guess and you haven't lost to the heavy aspects of your music it's just way more balanced in my opinion at least from what I've what I've noticed so I would that's, agree that's the thing that I don't understand is I I get that we're kind of striving a little far from, from traditional metalcore, mm -hmm. but I still feel like the other songs that we have that are more accessible are just as heavy, if not heavier, yeah. Yeah. than those songs. So I just, I'm yeah. confused by it's people just a are different like. Kind of heavy, no? Yeah, it's exactly. It's a different kind of heavy that, yeah. for some reason, people are just like, it's not straight up metalcore. Fuck you. Right. <laughs> yeah. I don't get that. Yeah, but, but for the most part, your fan base is growing, and everybody seems to really enjoy the new stuff. So that's what matters yeah, most. Yeah, I mean, it seems like with every album the band puts out, the band continues to grow. So, so I mean, that says it all. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And the nice thing is, I feel like our fans have have continued to grow with us each album, mm -hmm. and the people that don't listen to us anymore are. I'm gonna go in a bad direction. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go that, that route. Uh, I feel like the people that have stuck with us have grown as listeners themselves. Right. And it's nice to, to see that people have stuck with us yeah, over our Yeah, over our change and through their personal change and uh, yeah. It's cool. Absolutely. And something that I love about you guys is you always do kind of change your image a little bit with each album cycle. There's little details that that are different with your appearance and whatnot. So is there sort of a new aesthetic going into the new album that we can look forward to? Is that the plan? Well, for me personally, I'm still figuring out my, my new <laughs> aesthetic. You know, with yeah. Ice Nine, I was doing a lot of character, specific character <laughs> stuff. And here I'm just kind of finding my way still. And that's another exciting thing about being in this band now is trying to figure out what I want to do, which is cool. Uh, I don't want to speak for the rest of them, but I do know, you know, we're doing some special varsity jacket type things. We each have our own little logo on it, which is going to be available to fans as well, trying to create this little gang, if you will, <laughs> this gang yeah. vibe, which I think people are going to really like. Yeah, um, like a community. Yeah, of course. Anything to add, Ricky? <laughs> did I, or did I nail that time one? to shine. Uh, I think that the other, the other side of it, aside from the jackets, I think that we're still going to continue to do our classy suit looks. We're still going to continue to do our grungy stage get-ups. Yeah. Um, I think that we're just going to continue doing what we've been doing with the addition of, of the, the jackets. So. Yeah, the signature motionless look. Yeah. And this is something that I... I just think is really funny that's been happening over the last couple years is that goth is becoming cool and trendy. You know, Halloween is suddenly a cool thing that in, when I was in high school I was getting picked on like crazy for it. So what do you guys think of the goth trend becoming more mainstream now? Because you've been doing it for so long. 
I don't, it doesn't doesn't bother me. I mean, you know, people <laughs> works for you. People right? <laughs> want to do it, then go for it. If not, that's fine. I'll keep doing it. I mean, I feel like Halloween's always been cool. I don't know where you went to <laughs> high school, but <laughs> that's fair. It's always been cool to me. That is yeah. for sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, if if it's a fad or if people are just getting into it, it's it, whatever. Like. I'm all for people doing whatever the hell they want to do, so as long as nobody bothers me, I'm cool. Yeah. And is there a specific new... Ooh, wow. Oh, hi. Oh, that guy hates He said, nope. Um, no, but is there, is there a new track that you're most excited for the fans to hear for the first time? Um, I'm really excited for people to hear uh, one of the new songs that's... Uh, about to come out uh, called Disguise, it's, uh, which we just shot a video for as well. I'm really excited for people to hear that. And then also the song that I was able to work on, which is actually a, I guess you would call it a sequel or a follow-up to uh, On Dead Ahead. Oh, cool. um, so I'm excited for people to hear that because it's the first song I've contributed to for this band, which yeah. was a whole other new experience for me. We'll so get to hear your flavor. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. So those are the two okay. I'm most excited for. Yeah. What about you? I would say disguise as well, mainly just because I feel like there's always something special about that first song that comes out. People haven't heard anything for a couple of years. And you put out that first track and everyone's like, oh my god, this is crazy. Yeah. Um, but there's a couple other songs that I'm excited about that I think are kind of, I don't want to say that they're in like a crazy direction, but they're, um, there's a couple that are a little bit more, uh, how do I put it? More like, I feel like I'm putting myself into a hole, digging myself a grave right now. Just, yeah, just um, saying things that people are going to be like, wait a minute, what? I don't want them to go in that direction. <laughs> the internet um, will do that. <clears throat> See, the thing with, with the new album to me is that I feel like something that our fans have grown to appreciate and I really like it about our band is that every song kind of represents a different style of metal mm -hmm. and I feel like with this album it's even more so like that where we have the new metal track, we have the metalcore track, we have uh, the like 80s synth pop track, you know, like that was the song that I was going for but I didn't want people to be like, wait a minute, what? So I had to preface it with, with uh, that. But there's there's just songs in many different directions that kind of like branch out further than, than we've done in the past. And, um, and uh, hopefully that doesn't put anybody off because I think that even that being said, I feel like these songs are very much more heavy than Graveyard Shift. So, um, and I know there's people that are gonna be like, this isn't heavy, I don't know what you're talking about. But maybe my definition of heavy is different than anybody else's. I but. think it's also important to remember that heavy doesn't necessarily mean good. Like, you know, those are not synonymous terms, even though yeah. people like to put them together. And, and yeah. heavy doesn't also mean just breakdowns. Right. True. Right. It's and heavy I, in so many ways. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like that's where the mix-up is. People just yeah. think heavy and think they need to just play breakdowns. And yeah. that's not. That's breakdowns not of glass beats. <laughs> Even yeah. lyrics can be heavy. Like yeah. there's so many different ways. Yeah. Um, and so touching on the 80s synth pop, that just really stuck in my head for a second. Because I know a couple of you are personally fans of like the Midnight and that kind of 80s, that's 80s synth pop. So was that sort of where you drew inspiration in that song? Um, you know, I, I'm not sure. I wasn't the one that wrote the song. Okay, fair. Um, but I know that the, those types of bands are definitely in our, our influence toolbox. So, uh, so yeah. Sweet. It's cool that you're drawing inspiration from different genres as well. And so what are the upcoming plans? You have this tour that's about to start. What else is in the works the fans can look forward to? Well, obviously the new two new two new singles, a video, and the Alice Huber tour this summer, which is Huge. really exciting. I'm very much looking forward to that. I hope yeah. that he will hang out with me and be nice to me. Good luck. <laughs> At the very least, be nice to me. I guess he doesn't have to hang out with me, but I'll, I would like that. So that's that's exciting. Um, after that, I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe maybe a headliner. Maybe not. I don't know. We love a good cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. It was great talking to you both. And everybody watching, make sure you like and subscribe to APTV for more videos of your favorite artists, and we'll see you next time. Bye!